here it's another episode of it came from Bandcamp, where i go through a bunch of weird stuff that's on band camp it's pretty self-explanatory uh let's let's get into it the first one in the list here that i'm going to talk about is a release that was at one time on Bandcamp, not on Bandcamp anymore and that is an old mixtape from the late 90s that apparently tom hardy rapped all over yes the actor tom hardy mixtape late 90s, huh? So the mixtape went up onto Bandcamp, uh, apparently it was like uploaded by the dude who he was working with on the tape because they were uh, officially a duo and it, it did not take long for it to get taken down. However, the mixtape is still floating around on the internet. It's it's currently on YouTube right now. So this is ki kind of a Bandcamp release. Was at one time a Bandcamp release. Let, let's preview a little bit of it. Nobody gave a damn about a look though. Wanna be black, baggy wear and pull. Kicking lyrics from school to no school. So I had to go and make some money. Somehow I went to wait, now I had to get paid. Just to eat at least. Feed my mind, same time have a beast on gonna party to that is some wild, rugged English boy rap. He, he's, he's like, he's like the British Wu-Tang. in the late 90s he was that dude who was he was bringing real rap back he was bringing that real rap back just cu just coming straight out of england it's it's a fun time it's a fun listen uh okay let's let's not spend too much time on that this next one is an interesting one comes comes as a direct recommendation from my dude austin uh it is a release by the name of troll from none other than james ferraro it is reworked excerpts from two operas james put out last year bio meme morphogenesis and the deluge a couple of tracks feature legendary vocaloid hatsune miku got some sweet vocaloid collaborations coming down the pipe. They're gonna take over. James looking more dapper than ever in his band camp profile photo. I do love that tie and his uh, hair is looking quite luscious. I'm gonna give a shot to the track Bio Sewer and we'll, we'll see where that takes us. That's pretty sick. I like that quite a bit. I love his melodic progressions. I love his chord progressions on this track. Uh, some some of the mixing and some of the layering I think is pretty genius. I love the way the vocals feel um, kind of disembodied and, and weird and robotic. It's uh, kind of surreal and disturbing. Uh, though the track does make me think that if, if I only had MIDI instruments to listen to for the rest of my life, I, I, would, I, I would, would want, want to, to die. die. Still though, I think a lot of the ideas on this track are really cool. And can we just say that this uh, MS Paint looking cover art of an alien busting out of the body of some guy like uh, assuming he's just kind of writhing on the floor in pain is, is fucking amazing. This next one's gonna be a fun one. You, you, you guys are gonna enjoy this one. It's, it's called Bullet For My Bloody Valentine, the, the, lo the Loveless Poison. So this is basically an album where the music of My Bloody Valentine and the music of Bullet For My Valentine <laughs> are mashed up and layered on top of one another and slowed down uh, into a droney ambience. And uh, it's, it's actually not as awful as you might assume just based on the description. And we are going to sample the track, I Only Hit the Floor. I 
hope this person didn't, didn't give themselves like tinnitus or something at editing and and producing this. I, I, I hope that's not the case. But yeah, this is this is actually quite nice. It's very ambient, it's very washy, it's actually pretty intoxicating. It, it kind of reminds me of a lot of those weird, I guess you could call them remixes that were coming out a little while back where they'd take a very popular pop song and sort of stretch it out till it's like slowed down a thousand percent and then lo and behold it becomes this <laughs> elegant, beautiful, gorgeous ambient piece. Uh, it seems like we're, we're undergoing a similar process here, uh, but it seems like the layers and everything is just like thicker, more ambient, more blissful. But whatever this person has done to achieve this sound, it's uh, it's quite beautiful, quite stimulating. Okay, on this next one, since we've already opened up the mashup floodgates, is another mashup uh, project where we have basically the, the music of uh, MF Doom being pulled together with the music of... <laughs> oh god, I can't even say it. The music of crust punk band Doom, which of, of course those were gonna come together at some point eventually. So let's give a shot to the track Strange System and, and see, see what we're working with. <laughs> Mad traffic, sleek and lavish, people speak and leaking to the maverick. You see it as just another felony drug arrest. Any day could be the one he picked the wrong thumb to test. Slug through the vest. Shot in the street for pulling heat on a father who babies gotta eat. And when they get hungry, it ain't shit funny. Paid to interfere with how brother get his money now. Strange ways. <laughs> It's actually kind of cool to hear this because I think it actually sheds some light on the commonality between the genres of music that we see as being so separate because the, the flow that Doom approaches this song with could easily be applied to a number of hardcore songs, but instead of just screaming these lyrics at the top of his lungs with a kind of a punk delivery or a metal delivery, he's just kind of calmly rapping the words out. But still, the rhythm and the flow of his words could be thrown onto this kind of riff onto this kind of track easily and it would totally fit on it. So it actually doesn't sound as out of place as you might assume just from, you know, the names attached to the thing. Now what would an episode of It Came From Bandcamp be with, without some covers? Uh, th this is a covers album from <coughs> Hang Hanging Dong, which I guess is a project related to the music board on 4chan. Uh, collectively, they have gotten together and have decided to do a bunch of Beatles covers. Oh, nice! There's Cal Chuchesta <laughs> right there on the album cover. Oh, and, and there's also me. And Yoko Ono and MC Ride and Elliot Roger. What the f- Fuck. Either way, they have managed to come together with 51 Beatles covers. I really don't know where to start on this thing, so honestly, I'm going to pick one of my favorite Beatles songs, whichever song is one of my favorites that ends up stopping me in my tracks. I am going to play Happiness is a Warm Gun. I love that song. The structure of this song is amazing. She's not a girl. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's well acquainted with the touch of a velvet hand, like a lizard on a window pane. All the superior jumped the gun. I don't know if I care for the the acoustic direction, the the all acoustic direction. We 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 need some bells and whistles on that track. We need some bells and whistles on that track. Let's try Taxman though. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh. Uh uh. What? It's, it's mildly interesting. It's a weird lo-fi take on it. Uh, some obvious musical embellishments missing here and there, but uh, it's it's kind of interesting direction they took it in. Uh, a hard day's night. Let's do it. It's been a hard day. Oh God. Night. 
Now, now this this is what I came to expect, and I, as bad as it is, <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting it. Is, so, is someone whistling in the background? Is someone whistling? Is there is there like a lone whistler just continually just? I want to try so many of these tracks, but we can't try them all. Let's let, let's go for "Come Together," one of the most recognizable bass lines in rock history. Let's see if they do it justice. Does no one own a bass? Does anyone own a fucking bass? All right, we're, we're, we're gonna finish it off here with something which I, I think is one of the greatest love songs of all time. So let's see if Hanging Dong is able to <laughs> achieve the same level of beauty and finesse in their rendition of, of something. Something in the way she moves. Of course, of course it's with uh, a ukulele. Yeah, you know, never trust a white person with a ukulele. That's, that's my advice in life. Next, we're gonna be revisiting with an artist we have talked about before on the It Came From Bandcamp series, Impossible Nothing. Someone who originally caught my attention for his amazing and prolific beat music and electronic music albums with like an entire record with a track named after every letter of the alphabet and each song is 10 minutes long. Who the hell does that? I, I don't know. So since that Bandcamp release, Impossible Nothing has actually dropped quite a bit of material on the platform. Uh, this record over here is his latest. It is titled Chronomicon. Chronomicon? Chronomicon? Chronomicon. Chron this thing is 26 tracks. Of course, every single song is 10 minutes. We're just going to try the 12th track, L, and, and see where it takes us. Has it ever occurred to you that uh, instead of, uh, you know, running around uh, uh, blaming me, you know, given the nature of all this new shit, you know, it, 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 this could be a, a lot more uh, 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 complex. I mean, it's not just, it might not be just such a simple, uh, you know. Put that fire on hold. Turn down the heat for a minute. Whew. Whew. Oh, thank the, thank the, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Okay, okay. Okay, bring it. Bring it, bitch. Oh, that, that's some trap-inspired hi-hats right there. That's, that's some trap-inspired hi-hats. Those horns, the horns. I, 
I like how consistently layered and dense and intricate and detailed this guy's stuff is, and yet he's, he sticks pretty hard to that lo-fi aesthetic. Everything's kind of distorted, everything's kind of grimy. Uh, maybe it's a little too brittle at points, but still, I, I, I like uh, the way he kind of makes things sound a little messy, but also uh, very, very refined. Okay, we, we have one more artist in this episode of the It Came From Bandcamp series. Uh, it's, it's Graham Lampkin, Salmon Run and Amateur Doubles. As Austin tells me over here, sound artist Graham Lampkin recently joined Bandcamp making his previously out of print solo albums available digitally. Salmon Run is his most well known album and is considered a modern music concrete masterpiece, followed by Amateur Doubles, which consists of extended prog based loops assembled and recorded in a moving car. I'm down. I'm down for that shit. Let's try the track Glink A Mix. Very interesting, very pretty, uh, very intriguing. It reminds me of a lot of like old English vocal pieces, like gospel pieces. Uh, but there's just something about the editing and the processing of all of it that makes it sound really otherworldly and surreal and just very strange and weird. Uh, plus all those uh, effects and, and sounds kind of um, making a racket in the background uh, gives the gives the track a weird sense of place as well, but God, I love the vocals on that. I love the way the vocals are processed and treated on that track. It's very uh, I don't know. It's it's regal. It's experimental. I don't. It just feels vaguely religious. We are also going to give a shot to this amateur doubles track, Three Thousand Miles Away. Uh, let's it's let's let's give a little preview. It is eighteen minutes. We're only going to hear a bit of it, but still. I mean, from what I'm hearing so far, it's a pretty interesting piece. There are elements of what feels like progressive synth music in here, jazz music in here, ambient music, like almost like a space prog kind of thing. But it's obviously coming from uh, a lot of these sounds and genres uh, at a very experimental angle. Yeah. It's very compelling. It's compelling. It's compelling. And I'll leave it at that. This has been another episode of It Came From Bandcamp. All of the artists, all of the projects that we talked about in this episode are linked down below. If you like their music, buy the album, support the artist, and make sure to be here for the next episode so you can be turned on to some other cool, weird, obscure stuff on the Bandcamp platform. You're the best, you're the best, you're the best. Uh, Tran. Zition, over here next to my head are a few other episodes of It Came From Bandcamp, that and a link that you can hit to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Anthony Fantano, uh, buh, 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 leave a comment or maybe something or just watch another video. Just watch another video. Just click on another video and watch another video, okay? Okay, forever! <laughs>